All right, going back to doing a little bit of the history. This is uh, Total War Shogun 2, and there's the three different parts. Fall of the Samurai, Rise of the Samurai, and Shogun 2. Just to show a new campaign in the Rise of the Samurai to start earliest on in history. So, here we go. Three different clans, two different houses in each clan. You got the Minamato, who are somewhere there around about where Tokyo is. The Kiso, slightly inland. The Taira, down south, is kind of near where the Chosokabe would have been. Fukuhara. Um, Fujiwara, up north, and here, here as you move. I think I've played as these guys before with someone here, so I think I'll be the Taira. Maybe the... I don't know if I should be the Fukuhara Taira, or the... I think... Yashima Taira, let's see, 1175. Oh, initial challenge hard. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't take that easy. Normal. Normal. Nor easy. Kiso Minamato. I think I'll do maybe the. I'll do the Fukuhara Taira. Customary armor plus one. Traditional warriors. Koryu art already mastered. Predominant rules over more than one territory. And 20% uh, uh, upkeep cost. Fugar uh, let's see, every right to be a proud family, they have a noble heritage, the noblest because of, because the blood of emperors flows in their veins, they quite properly remember, their descendants from Emperor Kamu. They're also a practical family, they're rightly admired for suppressing piracy in the inner sea during the Heian period of Japanese history. The family came to exercise exceptional power and influence after a Hogan disturbance of 1156. The Taira backed the right side, helped to cross Fujiwara, and eventually saw the Minamato family banished or decapitated. Taira Kiyomori became Prime Minister and maneuvered many of his relatives into court positions and his daughter into the Imperial bed. His scheming apparently came into fruition when he had his grandson enthroned it as Emperor Antoku. Sacked in rage, Crown Prince Mo Mochihito and Toku's older brother and he called upon the surviving Minamato lords to fight the Taira. The result was a civil war, a civil war that he could, that could be blamed upon Taira Kiyomori and his machinations. He did by best legitimate line of succession. That's certainly what the Minamato would have everyone believe. Whatever the causes of war, the Taira have not reasonable expectations to victory. A victory. They control the emperor and are in all but name the legal government. Their enemies are rebels. The Taira are rightly seen as expert seamen as something of a military family, giving them strength on land and sea. Their shipyards produce high-quality ships and crews, and all Tyra troops are given extremely good training, the equivalent of having experienced recruits. They're not, however, a very forgiving people, and they get a repression bonus on any province they control, keeping the people, people under tight control. If this is checked, players will have a more restricted UI battle. Oh, okay. Short campaign, long campaign, domination, we'll do short. Capture all 25 provinces, including those. All right, let's do it. One should not be negligent in the way of a retainer. One should rise at four in the morning, practice sword technique, eat one's meal, and train with the bow, the gun, and the horse. Kato Kiyomasa. All right, and here's the backstory. In wonderful graphic detail. Taking you back in history. It's been a while. The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashikaga Shogunate, 400 years of peace was shattered by the Genpei War. Amaterasu, the Sun Goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute, 
an emperor could retire from the world and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Sophisticated, cunning, ruthless, they plot against any challenges to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle, that and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful family in Japan, but now they only dream of power. After years of careful planning, the Taira are finally ready to make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial peace is at an end. War is coming and blood will flow. We are the Tyra. Our superior strategy, both martial and political, has enabled us to assume almost total control of the realm ousting the feeble Fujiwara regime of old and subjugating our Minamoto rivals in the process. However, the Minamoto are returning in strength and with confidence. Conflict with the Minamoto may also leave us open to a Fujiwara invasion. They will not have forgotten who orchestrated their fall from power and will stop at nothing to see the old ways restored. Now, more than ever, we must be vigilant. The Tyra will prevail. There's your backstory, there's your map. Half on parchment, half in living color. <coughs> so we got the whole rundown from our guy there. The three great clans of the Genpei War are each split into two families. The principal object of the campaign game is to achieve hegemony over the other major families and minor lords, either through conquest or by spreading our family's influence throughout the provinces. Fame still gauges how powerful and dangerous our family is perceived as being within Japan. But there is no shogunate to overthrow in order to achieve victory. If we become too powerful, Emperor Go Shirakawa will declare us an enemy of the state, at which point all other families will move to attack us, including our sister family. Okay, so you heard that. <coughs> So we're making a power play, but we got to be careful politically. It's 1175 in the spring. She doesn't offer us anything else. Normally what I like to do is I go through these first. Uh, this will show up as our objectives. Victory provinces complete before the end of the year. Captured and hold 25, including the following. Awa, the Awa province. So we got to hold the Awa province over here. Sagami, way the heck over here. A province's castle town is the central settlement within it. Setsu, yeah, yeah. As the main administrative center, it contains a castle as well as trade and military buildings. Castle towns are the main consumer of food supplies in the province, so it is vitally important to keep agricultural buildings upgraded to avoid food shortages. You heard the woman? Let's see, pull out here again, Tajima, which is to the, 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 the north, I guess, Tamba, Kyoto. Farms supply food, and castle towns consume it. 
Although food is automatically distributed across all our provinces, if the total consumption in towns is not matched by farms, then food shortages can occur, which will lead to unrest and, ultimately, rebellion. All right, so we currently Make hold... Sure our oh, sorry, oops, I did thought she was done. We control one-fifth of what we need to. Kyoro was the old the old um, seat of the shogun at the empire for a long time. Anyway, I like to go through this. Let's see our clans. The staff lists the clans whose territory neighbors your own and the information about the diplomatic relations between you. The Ishikawa are friendly. Where the heck are the Ishikawa? Here? In the middle of us, huh? Can trade. <coughs> okay, I'll remember that the Ishikawa are, are... Well, why don't we trade with them anyway? In order to construct a proposal, select a clan from the central section and then diplomatic options from the left-hand side of the screen. The proposed deal will take shape under the heading Your Offers. Click on an option to remove it from the deal and use the Clear Offer button if you want to start afresh. When ready, click on the Propose Offer button. If you decide not to negotiate further, use the End Negotiations button to cancel diplomacy. Remember, that a proposal involving too many elements may be rejected out of hand. Alright, if she says we get Taira, Kiyomori is going to be talking to Ishikawa Nobu Nobuari. And again, this is like last name, first name, how they do it. They're moderate, we're both moderate, they're friendly, peaceful, dependable. So, we can... Now wait, do, do we want to see, do we know who they're... Okay, they've got no enemies or anything like that current treaties that's good so we can start by offering this option trade is agreement. used to broker trade agreements once agreed a trade route is opened between our clan and the territory of our trade partners enabling goods to be traded for mutual advantage and profit all right deal satisfactory i don't know if they want to request an alliance but and we're not going to go too far. We're not going to threaten them. We're not going to do it. We're just going to make a proposal. Some events will present a dilemma. Dilemmas will open automatically and require a decision to be made before continuing. Choose carefully, as the wrong decision may have serious consequences for the clan. Okay, so we'll do the tea ceremony and close this one out. We now have trade partners with them. Meetings with friends are always a pleasant diversion. What has brought you here today? I'm gonna take off. Okay. I'm gonna close that out. Uh, I'm gonna again go one one of these after a time. So Ashima Tyra, friendly. We're already trading, I believe. We're already allied. This is our other family. The Watanabe's. Indifferent can trade the map displays the diplomatic relationship between the selected clan and other clans ranging from friendly shown in green to hostile shown in red okay there these are our vassals moderate moderate they're different peaceful steadfast I'll request trade would they trade with Ishikawa okay They've got no enemies. I'll request a trade agreement. A proposal as straight and true as an arrow's shaft. My lord will accept. May good fortune favor us all. All right, we do the tea ceremony. We close that out. Our friend is always welcome, especially in these times of trouble. Come, let us talk. All right, good doing business with you. Close that out. Watanabe are now friendly. Toki, indifferent. 
We cannot trade. We don't, the ports in your home province are at full capacity. Okay. So we'll keep them in mind. Shinmen are unfriendly. So that's probably going to be... I know we have to take... Was it Damba? Is that one of our... Tajima. We're going to need to send somebody up there anyway. Okay. Um... Isokami. Isokami are indifferent. I have to remember again what, what objectives I got. Awa. Sagami. Setsu. Tajima. Tamba. We have to take Tamba. Kyoto. Different Shinmen unfriendly Sasaki friendly can trade. They already own alliance. Let's talk to him. Speak and I will listen. If I can help, I will try to do so. Hmm. Okay, but they're friendly, they're ambitious and treacherous. They're a vassal of our other, of us. They're one of our vassals. Ambitious and treacherous. I'm going to request the trade agreement anyway. Let me be the first to express agreement with what is proposed. This is an auspicious day. Uh. I'm honored to receive you. Okay, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> okay, Sasaki, very friendly now. But those are to be watched. We have to be careful of the Sasaki. Ochi are indifferent. Cannot trade, not enough of it. Kitabatake, indifferent. I'm going to pass over them right now. Isonomaki, indifferent. Ishikawa, very friendly. Adachi, indifferent. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop in the this armies. Pa this panel shows you information about a general working for our clan. His name, age, rank, personality traits, and military skills are all listed, along with details of his retainers and a breakdown of his command abilities. You can also access the skill tree via the dedicated button in the top right hand side of the panel. Well, there you go. Like she says. Troops can be stationed inside a castle town to defend it in the event of an attack. Whilst there, they will also act as a deterrent on any rebellious tendencies amongst the population. Okay, she's doing most of the talking. Our daimyo Taira Ki Kiyomori. It's 40 year old. As generals within the clan acquire experience points, a character's re in addition to skills gained through experience, characters within the clan will develop personality traits that affect their abilities. Some traits are present from the beginning, others are acquired as a character progresses through the campaign. Alright, oh, he's 57. He's got 40 men in his guard, 57. He's a one star, he's got an honor of five. Basic other effects negative, ten to the upkeep of all units under his command, plus ten to diplomatic re relations. Okay. He is in Setsu. This tab shows all the units or ships available for recruitment from the building you have currently selected. Right click on the ship or ship card to see its description. Left click on it to add it to the queue, and again to remove it. Recruitment cost is displayed underneath. Recruitment time is shown in the top left hand corner of the card. Okay. 
Um, his son Tyra Munimori, son and heir. Right click to move our army to any part of the highlighted area. We can attack by right clicking on the rival's army or castle town. Merge with a friendly army by moving to the same spot. Board a fleet at a coast by right clicking to move on to it. Uh, it's our 28 year old son. He's very loyal. Uh, we're going to send him to Kyoto. There are two types of rebellion. A general whose loyalty has dropped too low may attempt to form his own clan rather than defect to another. If this happens, he will raise an army and try to capture the nearest castle town. Riots amongst the peasants can also escalate into full-scale rebellions. Alright, then we got Taira Tomomori, Commissioner of Warfare, and our 23-year-old son. He's also very loyal. He's got a negative 2 to special ability cooldown time for all units under this man's command. Each general has a loyalty rating that is used to determine his likeliness to be bribed, leave our clan, and defect to another. Loyalty is influenced by factors such as the daimyo's honor, glorious victories in battle, marriage within the clan, being made heir to the clan leadership, the acquisition of character traits and skills, the choices made during dilemmas, and whether a general is made a commissioner or neglected within the clan. If their loyalty gets too low, there may be no choice other than to order that they commit seppuku. Well, that's no good for them. All right, we're going to garrison all of our towns. We're just going to garrison the castle town of Wakayama Ki. An ungarrison castle town automatically generates units of samurai retainers and women to defend it if attacked. Although not as effective during a battle as regular troops and unable to leave the castle town in which they were spawned they are well able to manage day-to-day -day public order problems all right now i'm going to click on our, our this provinces. tab lists all the provinces currently controlled by our clan by name public order speciality food and wealth it can be sorted by each of those headings. It also shows information about those provinces adjacent to our own, so we can make informed decisions regarding future conquests. There you go. And click on Kyoto there, for example. State Academy, Philosophical Tradition. Um, enlightened in the Building adds bonuses to the Mastery of the Arts. That's kind of what that is. If I right click on this, this it's going to show me detail. This statistical information about the selected province. The bottom section shows the factors contributing to the local and clan economy. The middle section shows the elements affecting and the status of public order. The top section deals with food supply, the province's speciality resource, and the breakdown of religious beliefs. It's town wealth, the tax rate, the income. Uh, they got town buildings, tax level, global food supply, stuff like that. Province group. Well, this is just all, it's all pretty technical. But uh, I'm just going to check off on that now. We got Kyoto. Uh, so we, generally, what I would do here too is I would go to construction. This tab shows all existing buildings in the selected castle town and surrounding province. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Right click on a picture to see its description. Left click on a building to add it to the queue. And again to remove it. Construction cost is displayed underneath. Construction time is shown in the top left hand corner. Some buildings cannot be constructed until certain arts have been mastered. In these instances, Please go to the Mastery of the Arts panel to begin study. All right, like she's saying there. So first I want to do some movement. This tab Show my agents. all agents currently operating in our clan. Their available action points. 
current positions and names. It can be sorted by each of those headings. The Junsatsu are our secret policemen, recruited through the barter building chain. Junsatsu ensure loyalty and obedience from friendly generals. Increase income by preventing corruption. Keep our castle towns and armies safe from enemy subterfuge when positioned inside them. And can request the allegiance of neutral and enemy castle towns, along with any forces garrisoned there. Junsatsu can also pay off rival agents. They are vulnerable to indoctrination by enemy soul and are exceptionally dangerous to Monomi. You got that? Okay. Good to remember. So we got Junats Junatsuchi, a 46 year old Junatsuchi. This is Mits Mitsukasu. Uh, there's his rank, skill tree, skills and traits. He's got nothing really to, to show yet. So. He's going to be the first thing we do, and we want to move him north to keep an eye out over here. As he reveals some of the land, we might have him go through this province. I'm not sure if he has passive abilities or not. But I'm going to send him this way. You have selected a target outside the highlighted area. This means the character cannot reach his target this season. Provided that an enemy does not block his path, he will continue on his journey during the next season. Okay, so he's staying in Kamayaka, in Shinmen. And we'll see what goes on there. This is their garrison. You can tell one, two, three, six units total, three garrison and three regular army. Um, we'll see what that means later. Again, to my... I don't have any... This tab gathers together all reports, summaries, and notices relevant to our clan. Click on one to see the message or report. When an important event occurs, the panel will open automatically. So we encountered the Adachi, the clan with whom we have no previous contact. We can now begin diplomatic relations with them. We encountered the Ochi, same thing. And the Toki. So now actually, if I go here to clans, it should show them Adachi, Ochi are indifferent, and the Toki are indifferent. Okay. Uh, again, my armies. There are three ways to move an army from a castle town onto the landscape. Agents are recruited directly from a province via the recruitment tab on the review panel. Recruitment is instant, but cost may vary depending on the number of factors, such as the presence of certain buildings, clan, or character traits. Okay. Buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage or battle can be rebuilt. To repair a building, select it and click on the Rebuild button to the left of the review panel. If simply left, damaged buildings will be automatically repaired very slowly over time at no cost. Hmm. I'm just looking at the different things that they could build here. A construction site, like a barter exchange, for your grounds training town, and a state. Hmm. I kind of want to. I kind of want to build up Kyoto. 
for 1600 whatever the big 20 yeah so I've got 888 left I don't want to spend it all um mastery of the arts this is our tech tree and we get to choose what we pick next now we're obviously Budo our super your clan's military capabilities won't got to develop your clan's culture government and economy um, we have unlocked the carry you take up the weapon I guess the bushi we can go for any of these that are already lit or we can go here um, Chinese learning we've unlocked the Budo and the Koryu forms of the earth enables building of the encampment the old way Bushi, the Bushi school Bunka, diplomatic foot samurai mounted I think we're going to go with the old way. It's going to take six turns. We got that set. And then there's also the finances. I'll just show the you this. Finance this panel gathers together essential economic and financial information about our clan. The trade tab details the current prices of all resources produced across our territory and shows how these are exported to our trade partners together with the profit made from exporting to each one. Also shown are the resources we produce, those we have gained from our trade partners or those we are yet to acquire. Certain advanced units and buildings require access to these resources before they can be recruited or constructed. And there's the summary okay so not too concerned about that I think I'm gonna save some money and not do too much I did construction I did some recruitment uh, I'm gonna leave the rest alone and I'm gonna end my turn the first turn here and then you get to see kind of whatever happens as we move into summer Influence is a measure of the relative popularity of the major families among the provinces. There are three categories of influence, one for each pair of clan families. A family can gain influence by sending Junsatsuchi into provinces to champion their clan's cause, constructing buildings that increase influence and through events and missions. There you go, so John you see, so it's always send out. Uh, so a mission issue the Tyra cause. If we are to subjugate those who seek to overthrow us, we need an effective fighting force. Dispatch Junatsuchi to spread our influence amongst these provinces, most loyal to our cause. Once support for the Tyra amongst our neighbors is strong, we should request their allegiance for our strength in our position. There's your allegiance of any problem. Influential exponent. This would give us the influential exponent quick of tongue and cunning the last year. Jun Tsuchi are championing your cause of impressible conviction. Plus 10 to the success chance of Jun Tsuchi actions. 10%. So we got 8, so 2 full years to do that. So, um, to influence amongst this process most loyal to our cause. So I gotta send them to, and then we got this warrior recruited. The Naginata, Levi, Kyoro, these fairly reliable troops carry fearance of Naginata, long pole arms that are deadly against any opponents. And that's where they are. So I think we're going to end the turn there and we'll finish it up next time. But we're just getting started here in 1175. It is now summer. Um, and we'll let you know how we go with the Tyra. But thank you for no battles this time, but stay tuned, okay? Oh, this also lets you bring out the map so you get a better view of what's where. Thanks for watching. Bye.